Hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome to this Kim Pressions of South Park Stick of Truth. I am joined by a special guest, hello. Martin in the Littlewood. Hi, hello. <laughs> so, first up, what do you think? I think it's really, really good. I wasn't really quite sure what to expect. Yeah. I'd watched very little of gameplay. You know, mm. I didn't want to know anything about the story or the style. I just knew it was an RPG and that was it. I didn't know if it was turn-based, I didn't know if it was sort of like live action combat, sort of like a Kingdom Hearts sort yeah. of thing. But it's kind of more geared towards sort of like Final Fantasy, but more yeah. with live action attack and defense, which is something I've honestly never seen before. There yeah. are probably other games that it's inspired by style-wise. I've but... seen a couple of JRPGs that use that kind of immediate reaction yeah. um, rather than just sit back and just you know choose your commands and it's, chuck them out there. It's difficult to get a grip of though. Yeah. Really difficult. That's the first thing I'll say. When you play it, don't yeah. get frustrated. There are some abilities that you don't feel like an impulse back from. So like, say when you shield from an attack, you'll hear the little ping as yeah. it like hits the shield. But for example, I'm playing a thief and I have an ability called backstab. Uh -huh. So I go off the side of the screen, I stand behind them and I've got a knife and he stands there and it flashes three times. Yeah. And each time I click when it flashes, there's no kind of noise or no kind of visual effect that okay. goes, yeah, you nailed that one. Yeah. It's just a case of I have to wait until the three have gone to see what damage the ability does. Yeah. So uh, for a long time, I thought I was actually playing it wrong or that I was oh, right. pressing the wrong click and stuff. But you were just doing it right. But I was just doing no it feedback. totally fine, yeah. So yeah, just to explain, it, this is an RPG, mm -hmm. uh, almost even a JRPG, but yeah, so it's turn-based, but um, after you select your attack and select your target, so you can choose sort of like a physical attack. Yeah. Um, I have magic spells because I've chosen mage. mage. Um, and then you have um, fart attacks. Fart attacks, <laughs> that, they, they require mana. They're like the yeah. big power powerful spells of the game. They are ridiculous. They're really cool. Um, and then you can do other things like have an item, eat an item, you yep. know, like a potion or something like that, or um, do, uh, if you've collected people you can summon, you can summon them to the battlefield like a demigod. They're, they're like, are they called GFs in Final Fantasy? Um, they're different ones, they're like Eidolons, summons, uh, demigods, everything, yeah, like, yeah. depending on uh, uh, whatever it is, but it is like summoning Bahamut to yeah, the yeah. field. Or Ifrit. <laughs> 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 and it's ridiculous. Yeah, they but, are pretty insane. But part of that is, so you don't just select your attack and select who you're attacking or defending or whatever, um, you have have to um, hit the buttons, the right buttons, yep. in time with visual cues, and the, the success of whether you do it too soon, too late, or if you do it perfectly on time, yeah. ch um, changes the amount of damage that you carry out. I quite so, like it though because it doesn't feel quick timey. Yeah, it's not a case of like oh mash, you know Y or B or whatever. Yeah. It feels a bit more kind of intuitive. It's quite it's nice. It's like rhythm action. Yeah. And when you nail it, you're like yes, that was awesome. Yeah. But there, when you're learning, when you're doing the first, you take a lot yeah. of damage. You, yeah. I'm, I'm really bad for it. I, I just pull the trigger way too early yeah. and it just ends up going straight through. I take loads of damage, I start bleeding or I, <laughs> or I, I get grossed out. Yeah. And then actually the further through the game you get, the more debuffs they start to throw at you. Really? So they've got one uh, that actually freezes you. So oh the, yeah, yeah, I got hit with that last it's like night. It's yeah. like a slowing touch and they yeah. hit you. I'm not quite sure what the slowing actually does, but I noticed that I was just stood there like all like blue and like shaking yeah, and stuff. Yeah, well I, I had that and Butters just wasn't, he wasn't able to attack because he just, oh, okay. like, it just it skipped his turn essentially um, but yeah so you have debuffs which in that South Park way um, you've got bleeding where you literally yeah. just bleed out in a the, pool the of bleeding blood. overlay is quite funny though because I've got a vanity item which is a pair of balls off of yeah, the chin from Butters's chin balls episode yeah, yeah, yeah so when I actually bleed because it's just an overlay on the character as a whole it looks like the crotch is oh. <laughs> literally bleeding <laughs> honestly some of the layering that happens in this can honestly the, the vanity items are amazing yeah. there are so many that's what I love as well well, is that um, so? I'm, I'm a huge South Park fan. Are you mm. a big South Park fan? Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. yeah. So just immediately going in the world and almost seeing like behind the scenes, like seeing into people's houses. Yeah. Like I was going through Mr. Slave's house the other day, and I was like, wow. His, his garage has got some surprises in there. <laughs> yeah, Cartman's mum's bedroom as well. I don't know if I need to censor that out on my yeah. on my Let's Play. I'm not quite sure There's if that's something I need to do. There's a lot of naughty, naughty things there, but. Everywhere you go, you can pick up, you know, you can loot, you can search around yeah. and you can pick up things to sell or to equip. So you have the general junk items and a lot of these are just 
little Easter eggs from the game. It's like Terrence and Philip dolls, uh, the little toy car that like went so fast it went into space yeah, and then yeah, they were yeah. brought into space dollars. The, the Akama Game Sphere. Um, a Casa Bonita sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got very excited about that because that's one of my favourite episodes ever. Yeah, there are so many little things that are l scattered throughout the whole game. And then not only that, but you get vanity items. So um, as you mentioned there, the chin balls. Chin balls. Um, and then you can get different like facial hair. Like I've got, a, I'm rocking a Klingon beard at the moment. I've got so many beards. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got some really cool beards. For a little while as a thief, uh, I had this kind of like brown and red druid outfit. Yeah. Um, and I just had some really cool sort of like, you know, stereotypical Chinese movie mustaches like and stuff Manchu, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> some really cool ones. I mean, like a total badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went for um, the druid outfit. So, oh, okay. um, so like RPGs as well, you can collect whole armor sets yeah. and when you equip them, it does actually change the way you look, which yeah. I love. I yeah, love yeah. it when games do that. And the thing is, is all of those translate not only into the combat scenes and onto your menus and stuff, but even in the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the biggest thing is that this genuinely looks like an episode of the cartoon. Absolutely. Never at any point is it sort of taken away and they have some weird like CG animation. It's all just like the yeah. Maya, 2D, you know, the paper craft sort of stuff. Yeah. Really, really cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like, it is like playing an episode. Yeah, And that brings like a massive smile to my face. Mm. But going back to the armor as well. So you can collect these whole sets, you can equip and all of them have different perks. Not only yeah. do they have that, they have slots, item slots. So it's almost like materia in Final Fantasy 7 yep. where you can pick up patches that you can equip into different item slots mm -hmm. that will give you buffs. Like... I've, I've had some really, the best buffs I've had are uh, a fire buff mm. which leaves them burning after I hit yes, them for know, about yeah. two or three turns uh, and another one as well that's uh, electric because yeah. you can basically when you're in a battle you can examine the enemy players and see what they're weak to. So it'll say weak to shock, weak to fire. Mm. So yeah. obviously you can't switch weapons mid-battle no. but if you're in a general area, so say you go through a whole thing with just the L or a whole thing of just the, I don't know, aliens or whatever it may be, and they're weak to a specific thing, you know for the next 20 minutes you're going to use that one weapon. Yeah. I equipped all the kind of healing buffs, so it was literally at the point where I was healing 60 health points per hit. It was nuts. Jeez. It was absolutely nuts, but it just meant that I was untouchable. You know, I didn't have to worry about healing at all, wow. so I just like plowed my way through it all. One thing, talking about dungeons, one thing I loved so I just did a bit, no spoilers, where I went through the school. Okay. And I really loved the way it became a dungeon. So for yeah, the most yeah. part, you're wandering around the town. But then I went into the school to do something. I'm not going to spoil it. Um, but yeah, it, it became a dungeon layout. And there were keys that you had to find to unlock doors. There were trash mobs. Yeah. And, and like, um, there was a boss as well at yeah, the end of yeah. it and everything. And there were different ways to go through. So you didn't have to fight all the mobs. Yeah. You could like manipulate the scenery okay. to essentially kill them by like, you know, dropping things on their heads. I or really like how up. subtle everything is yeah. when you can manipulate things whether it's destroying a couple of cardboard boxes or even if it's just like opening something to see what's inside of a chest of drawers or anything. Yeah. Just that, that very subtle orange or yellow uh, overlay yeah. you put on handles or anything like that. Yeah. Or the faint glow you get from a box. It's not quite as in your face because in some RPGs it's kind of like, oh, this thing looks crazy heavenly. Yeah, it's like, yeah. maybe I should click on that. Yeah. Uh, but no, this is very subtle. It's, it doesn't really detract from the world at all, which I is think, quite nice. I think that's the thing though, is that you can tell that the developers and Matt Stone and Trey Parker as well have been heavily involved in yeah, development. Yeah, you can tell that they love video games and you can tell what video games they love so there's a yeah. lot of Skyrim references in there's there. There's a lot, yeah. Yeah, there's so much in there and, and on the kind of pop culture note there's lots of Game of Thrones references, Star I Trek. I haven't seen any of those. Um, Cartman's Throne in, is the um, throne, oh, throne of Swords. Well, yes, Throne sorry. of Garden Implements. Implements, <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I didn't, that even only just clicked for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My god. But, so there's so many kind of pop culture references and that's what this whole game to me felt like was a labour of love. Like people yeah. who really kind of know what they want and know the kind of frustrations of like, you know, oh god, everything's so obvious and, yeah. and that kind of thing. I think the pacing of the game is really good as well. I think they've mm. got it just down to a T. I mean, there are a lot of side quests and admittedly the side quests are all genuinely fun to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've come across a side quest yet, and some of them do take a good 20 minutes or so. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm two hours deep, but I've only just finished the first, like, day in South Park. Yeah. Um, and that took me two hours. That's just because I was doing things like the main quest yeah. line, I was, like, finding Jesus and... Oh, finding Jesus. Now, you you, <laughs> you mentioned that you haven't quite found him yet. Not yet. I've got, I've got to find him one more time, I, I will think. encourage you to do that, because if you do that, you actually unlock Jesus as a summon. Amazing. And also, I've just got um, Mr. Slave. 
as well. Mr. Slave Summon. <laughs> oh my god. His side quest is wrong. I, I, I want to spoil it just because it's ridiculous, <laughs> even if it's spoiled for you. Mr. Yeah. Slave, he's butt naked. Uh, he covers his manhood, and he goes split legged, and he will sit on an opponent's head and devour them into his buttocks. Yeah, just like the Paris Hilton episode. Yeah. It's ah, uh, but the Jesus Summon is um, I haven't seen it actually this now this is this is what sold the game to me it was just like I was already having fun and you know for the first time in ages I'm, I feel like I'm having the best time ever in a video yeah, game I, yeah, same. yeah but it was this that nailed it I summoned Jesus he shoots down from the sky okay. gets on some sunglasses pulls out AK-47 <laughs> shoots yes. everyone but he just the whole thing is so cool and he's Amazing. just like yeah and then he shoots off again and I was just sat there in absolute hysterics I, like, I literally as soon as we finish this I'm going to go record yeah. like another episode go specifically find Jesus. to find Jesus yeah find Jesus everyone needs to find Jesus <laughs> from the Yogg's cast yeah there you go but it's it was hilarious and oh, uh, that's that's what I love. On that note, though, going back to Mr. Slave, mm. it is dark. It is sick. It's like, like, well, considering like most of the time, or at least for ninety percent of the fights I've fought so far, they are just kids with like elf beards. So I'm think thinking that. he's devouring a child into his anus. <laughs> mm. Not sure well, on that even, one. Just even using butters, so you can recruit people into your party. So at the moment, yeah. I have butters and Kenny. Yes, yeah, same. And yeah. butters as weapon is just a hammer. Yeah, and last yeah. night, I just had this moment where I was like. He's just smacking kids in the face with a hammer. Well, this is it. And when I was doing the tutorial as well, and Cartman's like, oh, come on, do it properly. I'm like, you do realise I've just shanked this kid in the back <laughs> and he's bleeding. I am nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, what, what do you want so from me? Dark. But if you think that, like, that's offensive or, you know, a bit off. Well, that's the thing. It gets worse. Well, you've got the censored version, haven't yeah. you? So I've got the PC version. And, and I'm I, on PS3. And I don't know, is it just in EU or is it in the UK? It's EU. And it's censored on EU. console. So PC, uh, PS3 and Xbox One or Xbox 360, mm. they're censored for some particular scenes. Yep. Now, I actually got to see everything, um, <laughs> which was fun, I guess. I would definitely have to censor it on YouTube if they're doing it for yeah. the game. But what what do I miss if... So, uh, so this relates to an alien abduction. I'm not going to say too much more, but basically it seems to do with anal probes. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun that is now. <laughs> and um, so the way they got around it was by bringing up this screen with the EU flag and a right. statue of, um, I think it's David, kind of like face palming like that. And a message wow. from Matt and Trey saying like, we're really sorry EU guys, but we're not this is not allowed in your country and this is what's happening. And it breaks down and it describes exactly what's happening in this wow. scene. So even but, though you don't see it, it's like, guess what? In intricate detail. Yeah, is yeah, it, yeah. Are we talking it's quite... Are we talking Fifty Shades detail? Or? Uh, yeah, probably. Wow. But the thing is, yes. as, so you keep triggering these scenes as you go around this yeah, dungeon. Yeah, there's about seven Five, of them, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, quite a fair few. Yeah. And the description's different every time, but as you find them, they get more and more sarcastic Brilliant. and more and more self-deprecating. Sort of like the last one was something along the lines of, yep, we're still doing this joke. Nice. You know, we're still going as far as we can with this. And in some ways, I think that that's actually funnier than actually seeing, seeing it. it, yeah. Yeah, so... I mean, there are a lot of things where it's kind of like things are so ridiculous or so just, like, uncomprehensible that yeah. they just make you absolutely die of laughter. Yeah, but, I mean, it is that fine... It is treading that South Park fine line of mm. what is, in you know, so unbelievably bad taste. It is funny, or that has just crossed the line. I find they haven't crossed the line. No. Or at least in the first two hours of gameplay, they haven't really crossed the line They've yet. They've come close to it a couple of times for me, but I think that, again, that is just down to the, the person playing it. I think it's a lot of this, yeah, is down it's to what you will find offensive and what you will go... Like, because for the most part, I'm just like, well, that's South Park, you know. I'm, I think you have to go into the whole game with the mindset of, if you like the TV show, you'll like this. If you don't like it, then you're probably going to get offended by stuff in this. I mean, the fact is, when you start the game, there are four character classes, warrior, mage, thief, and... And Jew, Jew. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, whose attacks are circumcision. So that pretty much sets the tone. And, and you also are... can't pick to play female, can you? No, you Just can't. A, but, a boy that you can dress up as a yeah, girl. Because I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing the, that that sort of thing is like boys don't play with girls. That nine-year-old mentality of like. I guess so. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I put it down to. I don't think it's sexist or anything like that. Mm. It is literally just like nine-year-old boys going, "Oh, girls have cooties. They're not going to play with us." Yeah. That said, I dress my character up. Like you get enough fantasy items that you can dress your character. I up I did as have a, girl. a nice big black wig and a Viking helmet, and I looked like some kind of like weird <laughs> interpretation of Jesse J. Yeah. It was like an old. Awesome. It was like a medieval Jesse J. She yeah. looked pretty damn cool. I've 
got like the bun hairdo, but because I couldn't resist the Klingon um, <laughs> moustache, <the Klingon, laughs> yes. I've got a girly hairdo and a Klingon beard because I Brilliant. like it too much. Brilliant. But you know, that doesn't bother me. Uh, there's one thing that I know is censored that I'm a little bit. I don't know, I'm not looking forward to coming up to well, okay. it. Well, I won't come up to it, but you will. Right. And it's an abortion mini game. I did hear about this. So, and already yeah. I'm like, yeah, maybe not. That, that I think, is where my line is. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm glad that that is censored for me. Yeah. No doubt there are people out there who will find that hilarious. Fine, fair play to you, but for me, that is too yeah. far. I think there's a lot of stuff in the game that will mildly offend some people, but I think there are some huge triggers in there as well Yeah. for, for people uh, that are going to play this. But... But yeah, I think a lot of people are just gonna have to use their better judgment as to what they do and don't put on YouTube and for stuff. The, for the most part, it is good humoured. It is like just having yeah. a poke at everything, and it is it, it is South Park, you know. That, is, that is the thing, and I do like the fact that they haven't pulled back because they're making a video game. Yeah, it doesn't feel like they've got any kind of larger funding or creative forces that are saying no, it has to be this way. Mm. It feels like they've had total creative control over the whole process. Definitely, absolutely, and that's you know that's why I love so much. You know, for the first time in a while, in fact the. Last the last kind of proper JRPG RPG that I've played was Nino Kuni. Yeah, same. So, so this yeah. is a big contrast. Yeah, it's a big contrast, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm so addicted right now. And yeah. it is great to feel kind of that drawn in and that entertained and that invested yeah. that I'm actually at the point now where I'm like, I'm, I'm sat here talking to you, but I'm thinking I really want to go and play it. Same, like, yeah, I'm just saying. The thing is, is though, it's like just, even if you're not doing the main storyline, all the side quests are great, yeah. but generally, like you were saying only just exploring, yeah. like the Klingon beard, you only get rewarded for that by going into houses. And I've, I've found, and I never do this in games, even in things like Skyrim and stuff like that, I've gone into every single house, every single garage, yeah. every single drawer, Absolutely. every single wardrobe, Absolutely yeah. everything. I've literally gone from Cartman's house, sweeped all the way to the left, Same, yeah. right the way up to the pond on the far left of the city, uh, which you can see displayed nicely just here. Um, <laughs> and honestly, I've just wanted to find every little secret, yeah. and I've been pooing in every toilet because I'm pretty <laughs> sure that there must be some kind of hidden steam achievement. There might be like. I'm thinking... Whereas if I get a poo nugget from every toilet in town, I think there's an achievement for that. Or if there's not, there should be. And please make that a thing. I think Mr. Hanky might turn up. Like I think Maybe. That, might, that might happen. I did see footage of him ahead of the game's release. Yeah, there is there is a sewer that you go down. Like, yeah. I've gone, kind of gone down half I, I was it, in there, uh, one of the, uh, I think it was like a Photoshop, and a woman there was yeah. like, I heard someone in the sewers. I think he said something like, howdy doody. Hi. And then at that point, I was like, yes, it's real. Yes. He's going to be in it. Well, that's the thing. Everyone is in it. Like, everyone Literally is in everyone. it. Literally everyone. Underpants gnomes, uh, Mr. Hanky. Uh, oh God, I'm trying to think of like, some obscure stuff. A whole bunch of kindergarten stuff. kids. Like, you know, yeah. the episodes, oh, you episodes with Ike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even Don't Ike's in it. it. Ike. Ike is so Ike's adorable. Ike's in the little playground playing he's pirate. He's so cute. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> he's amazing. So I give it two thumbs up. I do as well. It's a really good game. So I think... As long as you're prepared for the mature content, I think as long as you've got an understanding of South Park yeah. and you don't take too much personal offence to it, yeah. I think you have a lot of fun. Gameplay is very swift, very fun. But I think it's absolutely fantastic yeah. and for the first time in a long time I'm actually having genuine amounts yeah, of fun. Yeah, I can't put it down. I've had to play for it again so I don't spoil my YouTube Let's Play. Right. I'm like, right, I'm going to see if I can do it faster because <laughs> I don't want to ruin like the initial like lols and laughs and stuff when mm. I actually uh, film it. Uh, but yeah, really, really good game. I'm, I'm well into it. Yeah, so there you go, guys. South Park Stick of Truth. We both like it. Mm -hmm. I think um, ev everyone else in the Yogg's cast is having a lot of fun with it. It's yep. definitely the hot topic at the moment. So, yeah, absolutely recommend. Go out and get it. <laughs> <laughs>